Hi guys and welcome to part 23 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On this part we are going to add the shopping cart controller to our project. We know that to create a controller we need to go to the controllers folder and there we add the controller. We name our controller shopping cart controller and we add the file. Before we continue further we are going to add the constructor for this controller and in this constructor we are going to inject two properties. The first one is going to be the I drink repository and we need this one because we will be dealing with drinks and the shopping cart. Before we continue further let us remove the default created action. We want to return to our user a view of the shopping cart. So for that we are going to use the view result as a returning type and we name it index. To return to the user we first need the items and we get the items by using the shopping cart injected service. The method get shopping cart items. We have written the property shopping cart items, so we write shopping cart dot shopping cart items is equal to the items. Next, before we display the data to the user, let us create a view model for the shopping cart. So we just add a normal class and we name it shopping cart view model. The shopping cart view model is a pretty simple class and it's going to contain only two properties. The first one is the shopping cart, so we know to which shopping cart these items belong, and the second one is a total value for this shopping cart. Let us go back to the controller and here we write var shopping cart view model. This is going to be a sho new shopping cart view model and we import this one. Next we say that the shopping cart property is equal to the shopping cart itself and the shopping cart total is equal to shopping cart dot get shopping cart total. Next, we simply return these values to a view. We want to give the user the possibility to add a drink to the shopping cart, but we are not going to implement the logic inside here. We are going to simply redirect him to another view where he can actually confirm that he wants to add the item. So for that, we create a new action of type redirect to action result and we name it add to shopping cart what this is going to take is just the id of the drink and inside here we first get the selected drink and to get the selected drink we could use the drink repository and from the drinks we try to find the first or default by using the drink id the reason that we use first or default instead of just first is that in case that we don't have any drinks with that ID, when we use first, an exception will be thrown. But when we use first or default, then the value of the selected drinks is going to be null. So we need to check for that value. And in case the selected drink actually exists as a drink in our database, then we add it to our shopping cart. So we add the selected drink and the amount is 1. And at the end we return the user to the index action. Except adding to the cart, user should be able to remove items from the cart as well. So for that we create a new redirect to action method and we name it remove from shopping cart. The same way it's going to have as a parameter the drink id and we first check for the drink so I'm going to copy paste from up and if the selected drink exists then we can remove it shopping cart remove from cart for this we just need the parameter that we are going to remove at the end we return to our index action so we have added our controller but for the controller to actually work we need to add a view so for that we go to the views and we first create a new folder with the name of the controller which is the shopping cart and inside this folder I'm going to add a view which I'm going to let the name as index.csharphtml. For this view I'm going to copy paste the code from my github repository and provide the link down below on the description section for you as well. Here basically we have created a table with five columns and each row is going to be filled in with data by using the shopping cart items. At the footer of the table we are just displaying the shopping cart total which is the sum of all the drinks that we have bought. 
This is all for this part and on the next part we are going to learn a new concept in ASP.NET MVC Core which is view components. So thank you for watching and see you on the next part.